I mean, can you tell us a little bit more about the teaching of, of emotional intelligence in, in tutoring? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll be honest, when I set up Uber Tutors in 2012, my kind of framework around it wasn't necessarily emotional intelligence. I just wanted to have a really great in quality tutoring company that stood out like in the market in the UK. Uh, and, I, and I knew that I really wanted to have some really quality tutors and um, thinkers like myself, so like-minded people who were uh, a bit of a sort of know-it-all, um, could cover various subjects, various ages, were really people, people, what's the word, people persons? <laughs> yeah, people persons. Um, and really actually, without officially saying so, emotionally intelligent. That's what it was in the sort of underlying factor. And so I started off hiring a whole bunch of tutors for our team and doing interviews. And I found that the commonality between the really great tutors that kept getting sort of hired and staying with us and doing an incredible job with the students and helping them like really rise their levels and their confidence was that they were just incredibly like high in their EQ. Um, it wasn't just that they knew maths really well or that they knew the curriculum from GCSE and A-levels. It was that they really related and unpacked the self-awareness of the student and empathized with them, got to the root of their challenges and issues and learning and help them resolve them in practice. Um, and that's actually what I think distinguishes a tutor as well from a teacher is the ability to facilitate that sense of self-awareness and the challenges and obstacles and helping them in practice overcome them. Whereas teachers typically don't have the time and frankly, the resources to do that. 